Thai. Yes, Thai as in Thailand. So that is the name of the noodle because it's so commonly known from this dish that that noodle is just called the Pad Thai noodle. It is a white rice noodle and it is actually not the most popular dish. I wouldn't say even the top, I don't know, top 10 dishes, which is kind of funny because this dish has gained notoriety the world over as the most famous Thai food, I'm sure. But it's just abroad. In Thailand, there is a lot of history and I wanna see what I can learn about uh, Pad Thai and also eat, of course, some really tasty looking versions right here across from Wat Jet Yat. So good morning from Lee and myself. We are in Chiang Rai today. We are opposite Wat Jet Yat. So this is called Pad Thai Jet Yat. Those are the numbers of lines in the very famous Thai tattoo culture. You can see the owner here, he is also a tattoo artist and he is an artist of more than that. We met him last night because Lee bought a beautiful bag that he made. He does leather work, he does wooden craft, and also he does art through food. So we are gonna enjoy some of that today. Hope you are having a beautiful day. Thank you for joining us in Chiang Rai. Let's eat some Pad Thai together right now. Care of some other business. I saw this last night. Clearly, I know it is his. I said, can you tell us a story about this? He said, oh yeah, perfect small transportation around town. What a perfect vehicle. Everything here is like, like built in with his character. You saw him just, just now, like just at, a, just at a glance, just imagine how many stories he has, how much experience he has, what a, what a special and awesome individual. So we only have one morning to hang out together, but I'm, I'm just excited. Since last night, I've just been excited to come back so I can meet him. And look at it, I mean, just all this stuff. Okay, so look. Why they all stand back? A car coming the wrong way. So, I love Thai language, and actually the script of Thai was what made me want to learn Thai in the first place. So I always appreciate when people have beautiful Thai handwriting, and so that's why I wanted to, to come over here. But check this out, Lee now wants to show you. She's actually modifying the bag that she bought last night, so. And I cut it shorter. Yeah, and I love the things he told me last night. He said, this bag has been hanging here two years. Oh, Just waiting yeah. for me to come to get it home. I like it. And it's still so clean and so strong feeling. It still feels so new. Yeah. When you first started cooking here, was this area just like this? No, no, I have uh, three forests around before. Okay. Yes, and we look here, I love here. Before I have uh, near the pork cow. Okay. And slowly come on. Hey, look at, oh man, thank you. Look at that. <laughs> now that, that is awesome timing. Do you know about the history of Pad Thai? Why did you want to start making Pad Thai? Because it's such a, popular dish. And I learned for cooking by myself. Okay. And he's my wife. Okay. My wife cooking. Good oh, too. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> she make and do a Thai. How do you have enough time? Yes. So, oh, man. I have time, but short time. Oh, yeah. for quick, 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 quick. Great yes. example. Mm. Quickly, quickly time, but I have long day for working. I we came by last night like 9 p.m. and he was he was working. So I wanted to come back in the morning to try and catch you for so you have a chance to talk to us a little bit. A little yeah. bit. I'm very happy to meet you, Pino. Very yeah. nice to meet you. Immediately, actually, when we walked up, he ran over there and brought back two cups of tea. And we have been talking for about 20 minutes, so I still have not tried the tea. Very herbal. Actually, lemongrass is the main flavor. I'm only 
I'm only guessing that it's green tea just from the color because, you know, I mean, that golden color. But the flavor is, and mint, but not like mint, like minty, like eucalyptus. Mm. So I actually have two of the world's best warm beverages in my hand. I still have the, the cafe Bolan that he made. Is my my name shop? Okay. I live in. Yeah. Wow, dude. What? The <laughs> A very I mean, small I hear, place. I hear my friend uh, make Thai restaurant there. What a! Wow. Oh man, that is incredible. I do have one friend from Curaçao. Really? I have one friend. She she is Malay. Oh, yeah. Malay Dutch. Yes. Dutch Malay, but Dutch live in Curaçao. Right? Yes. Dutch. Yes, Good. because uh, Curaçao is Dutch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, English, we have wow. Dutch. Papi Mintu, yep. Surina. Okay. Uh, and we have a uh, beautiful island. I'm sure. A very special place. Yes. Very unique, very yeah. special. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Life of an artist, lifelong artist for sure. Wow. <laughs> yes. Love it. Drive by, don't even turn off the motorbike, just drive by. So, obviously, your friend, right? You, yes, you know, yeah. she eats uh, Pad Thai every day. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you can tell. If you just yell by the window, you can tell it's a friend. She eats awesome. Pad Thai every day. She said, in an egg, chicken, 10 minutes, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Someday, uh, a yeah. second time. <laughs> okay, so your Pad Thai is the best then, obviously. Uh, So over here, he said he did not take down the trees. He just built the restaurant around the trees. Here is poured cement and it's kind of up on one level. You can also sit in front of the shop uh, at night and definitely in the rainy season. The cover will protect you, but you can see the whole shop is kind of uh, just very organic, just like this. None of the walls are straight, you see, and uh, it's brick and wood, and here you have the back of whatever building we are next to, but above you have trees. Yes, he has a tin roof here to offer a little bit more protection in the rainy season, you will want that, but he did not do anything to the trees, and he respects the trees as if there is a protective spirit around the trees, and so that's the purpose of this white cloth. Yeah. 
What a day, what a day. Look at your left hand. And while I was praying, another one came. Oh, okay, so. <laughs> this is with shrimp. How fast did he deliver that? I didn't even hear it, actually. I have here two epic versions of Pad Thai. This one is with fresh shrimp. Got it, piset, which means extra of everything. Piset means special, so it's a super size shrimp pad thai right here. And then this one is paw kai. Paw means wrap, kai means egg. You know what? I'm going for the egg one first. Dude, that is a hefty portion. Oh, he added pineapple in this one. Yeah, I do not eat pad thai very much. I don't even know the normal ingredients of pad thai so well. Definitely gonna be dried shrimp. Fish sauce, saltiness from that, and um, banana blossom actually is a special ingredient. Chives, banana blossom and chives. Let's make a bite with some of each of the ingredients over here. Dude, that is a huge serving. Wow. I'm excited, this is, I have, I cannot even remember, years since the last time I had pot thai. For being a fried noodle dish, the, the smell is so, it's so full, like herbal and fresh. Maybe the bean sprouts and the chives. Mm. The egg outside is cooled down, but the noodles are still mega hot. Roasted, the dry peppers, the dry peanuts, both roasted. The shrimp is salty, the tofu is nice and chewy. Mm. But those noodles, a little bit bouncy. The Pad Thai noodle is its own noodle. It's made with rice flour. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Mm. Camera lady needs a bite. For that next bite, add some lime juice. <laughs> Oh wow, the lime keeps on giving. Now I'll add the bean sprouts too, but I wanna give Lee a bite. This is so hot, so perfect, so warm, if you would. Yeah, that is spicy, yeah. The whole shrimp, so I just squeezed on the lime, but then I found a shrimp. I don't eat Pad Thai enough to know if pineapple is normally included, but thankfully he made it very spicy. Chiang Rai just loves to add lime juice to everything. That's a that's a little bit of a takeaway from this trip. Adding lime juice to everything brightens up every dish or it takes uh, changes every dish in wonderful ways. It's already full of umami. It already has a lot of freshness with these uh, the chives and the bean sprouts. But now adding lime, yet another another aspect of flavor. Will you cook pad thai? Yes. Amazing, amazing beef. Thank you. There are so many ingredients to pick out, but I did not notice this one. I think it is some sweetened, or you can say candied pork. Just a little bit, kun uh, siang in Thai language. In English, I think they call it Chinese candied sausage. Okay, so I can already see I would order it with the egg every time I come here, but let's just try the inside of that that egg first and this one instead of the egg he added extra shrimp oh man steam still coming off that's awesome so this is not green onion another unique ingredient to pad thai actually two unique ingredients so the, the chives it's not a green onion and then peanuts i know around the world i think anyways uh, thailand is famous for things with peanuts but i know pad thai is one of the few recipes that has peanuts in them, in Thailand anyways. So, Pad Thai, also the pineapple, I'm not an expert, but his his own recipe using pineapple seems pretty awesome. And then you see the yellow Chinese tofu, which is the, the chunky squares. Oh man. Love the breath of those chives. Wow, that's awesomely stinky. I love both dishes, actually. Because this one, you can taste the individual ingredients more. With the egg, it's just like richness upon richness. 
this one you can just taste the a little bit more clean the ingredients it's a little bit more sweet because there's more i guess sauce the sweet sauce in the ratio dude, dude he is a master these dishes are awesome actually this i can't say that this should be included with this i just love kai Luo. so i saw that he had all the eggs and the the condiments which are uh maki like a salty sauce and black pepper so i knew that he makes this also but this is one combo all on its own actually with the green tea too this is one combo that you have in the morning in Thailand. This is another. You can have it for breakfast, but I think Pad Thai might even be like the best as a late night meal, but I love it for breakfast today. But anyways, this coffee, Cafe Bolan, and the Kai Lua. It is a semi-raw egg. You can see the yolks are still completely runny. And here's how you do it. So I put in the black pepper. You don't want to stir it up too much. You just do one of those. Oh, I broke one of the eggs. And then you do this. Ready, set, go. Mm. Just the perfect runniness. Definitely takes heart to get that perfect runniness. Mm. And that is an awesome breakfast all on its own, followed with some pretty sweet coffee. That is, that is Thai style coffee. Very dark coffee with milk and a lot of sugar. And then you have it with that egg. So the salty peppery combo with the sweet, creamy, milky coffee. This is how Thai drink coffee. And there's, there's also no real traditional Thai beverage. Some people enjoy coffee, some people enjoy green tea. Some people just enjoy hot water in the morning. Mm. Soy milk is another one, but anyways. Yeah. Can come with me, you can walking around. Okay, thank you. If you want to sit there. Yeah. Have hope. Thanks, man. Oh. I'm getting full already. Oh man. So he has so many different projects and business ideas, businesses. He said he has four or five different things that he does every single day. Wow. From donating his time, as you heard, he said he cleans, he works for free. So that's part of the volunteer that Thai do. And then he also helps his family. His family has several different types of business. Uh, so he goes between the two several times per day. But when he has free time, he comes here and he takes care of this place. He does his art as another hobby, but he also runs this restaurant. I would recommend if you are in this area, don't forget about Chiang Rai Wat Jet Yacht. It's very easy to find, just Wat Jet Yacht. You can even type in English just like this. Come here, hang out, eat some Pad Thai with him, but also just hang out with a very cool and unique guy. What a welcome. So from what I have learned about some of the history of this dish, around the time of World War II, there was a rice shortage in Thailand. And so the leadership of the country, they came up with a strategy, how to also make the people happy and get behind a national movement to support the country, support their military, but also 50% of the rice was, was needed, you know? So how to make some good plan to use only 50% of the rice. It's a very tricky thing. Many governments in this area have a very hard history and very hard stories from the time of World War II. But this dish is sort of a national bit of pride coming from that time period. So the leadership of the country, in the, the leadership of the country during World War II created this dish and they even had a national program to boost noodles. So this is a crazy bit of information, even for me, new information for me. Noodles were not always a popular dish from Southeast Asia. And so after the 1940s, there were many movements to get children interested in eating noodles and lunchtime strategies to get families interested in noodles. And this is one of the dishes that comes from that time. So it's so interesting. place is very, very cool. And I just realized I have been here before. 
I was sitting here thinking, why does that look so familiar? Why does this turn look so familiar? And there are, in, in one hour, there are now so many backpacking tourists who have walked by and I realized I have been here before. I did not eat here before, but I walked by and I rented a motorbike there. Eight years ago for New Year's, I took a trip with my friend Brian. So Brian, miss you, man. I, the, the memory just came back to me right now. And that was a very special trip. My first trip to Chiang Rai at that time. And now this is my third time coming back in the eight years between. So you know what, man, it hits me like that. All the experiences that I have to feel grateful for and feel blessed by, all from just Thailand and just living here, Thai people and those experiences just blessing me endlessly. And then when a situation like this just hits and I can relive the memories, but also be so grateful that I am making more new memories right now with another very special person. So anyways, Brian, man, hope you're having a great day today. I'm thinking of you right now, man. This is some very awesome hot tie to go with this, this memory right now. So Lee and I are finished and we're gonna maybe take our friend up on his offer. He seems very busy right now, but he said he closes the shop after the lunch rush kind of dies down. And we, you know, if we can, we are gonna accompany him outside of town to his brother's place. Thank you for hanging out with us and I hope you have enjoyed learning a bit, tasting a bit, and yeah, most importantly, just hope you're having a great uh, holiday season. Right now is always a special time, no matter what culture we come from, the end of the year is always a special time. So thanks again for all that you do for us. I hope you're having a great day today. See you for the next one.